Okay, so no special intros tonight. Bit of a fish emergency, say, bit of a fish emergency. Massive fish emergency. So we've just took a delivery of a load of koi fry. Uh, we're at max capacity in the store and we're at max capacity in the quarantine centre uh, until our new 60,000 litre bassins are actually set up within uh, the next 24 to 48 hours. So what I'm having to do is, if you pan into the back of the car, there is literally 14 bags of fish. On average, inside of each bag, there is 800 fish. Uh, we've got the net. I'm just gonna have to go straight in at the farm, into the main lake, plop and drop these, then come back tomorrow, set up the auto feeder, finish off stringing off the rest of the lake, just to make sure that these guys uh, are all ready. I need to get to the farm and phone Mick and Mandy, because I don't fancy me walking across the field with his shotgun. Um, but yeah, it's been absolutely incredible. I'd say if this kind of content interests you, do me a humongous favour and swipe up and subscribe. Uh, hopefully, fish emergencies don't interest you, but you just want to follow the journey along. So if you do, swipe up either here or here. You're going to see my subscribe button, hit that and hit the all bell notification. For those people at home wondering about my safety, I am currently doing 20 miles an hour down the country lanes uh, by uh, the farm. So I, uh, I won't pan round just yet because you'll see the new setup that we've got going on. Uh, and you're gonna have to wait till winter for that one. I know I've teased it a little bit. Uh, there is an in-depth analysis video that's gonna be dropping uh, within the next 24 to 48 hours from this video, which is gonna be explaining a hell of a lot of stuff that's been going on recently. Uh, so make sure you are, you are subscribed to who you are not. You're gonna to wanna to miss that one. Um, but yeah, these are all of the fry that we've imported from Yashikigoi, and you'll see some of the sizes now first hand that these guys come out. Um, the reason why I'm not actually going to acclimate these is because we've had a hell of a journey getting them across. We got stopped in Polish customs, which is normal, but then we got stopped in French customs, which isn't normal, and then we got stopped in the UK customs as well, which is not normal. These fish have currently been in transit for 36 hours now, so I need to get all over these, get them in the lake as fast as humanly possible. The ones that are in the shop have settled in really, really well. Um, so we've not got to worry about those. Um, what I am going to be doing with those inside the shop is actually separating them out into pond one and pond two. I was debating putting these guys into uh, the dugout mud ponds, but it's going to be far easier. These guys will actually help me do a job by getting rid of some of the uh, denser that's in the lake, because these guys will actually go ahead and eat that. Uh, it's a good job we're in the uh, Volvo XC90, the 4 before because we're going to need it to get up this field. Uh, lighting's going to be dim, uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you have to bear with me, uh, which you're going to do the best that you possibly can. Because, um, like I say, none of this was planned. It's currently 22.30 on Wednesday evening. This video is going to drop tomorrow. But let me open the gate, snap back to all in a sec. Right, so I've got 14 bags of fish. I need to try and position the car the best possible way that I can without actually planting it into one of the dug mud ponds that I've done. That'll do. We have to park it here. Let's go. I'll leave the ignition running actually so we can see what we're doing with the lights. Let's go. So what I've just done for the time being is literally just dump the fish here where they need to go. Uh, because the water levels dropped with the temperature recently, what I'm going to be able to do now is actually use this bank, drag the bags on down, prop them into here, and then literally just let the fish go. There is naturally going to be some floaters due to the amount of time that these guys have spent during transit, but we're trying to do the best we possibly can for the fish. So all you're going to do, pop the tabs off, Up on the bank, we'll collect those tomorrow because we don't want to leave any litter around that's going to bomb into the ponds. This is literally a race against time to get all these out. Now, obviously, in your, your home ponds, you don't want to be mixing pond water with anything else, but I'm just chucking these guys in here so you guys can see indeed what they do actually look like. So, can you pass me the phone? There you go, the colours on these are absolutely incredible. What I need to do now is obviously as you can see already they've already started swimming, getting amongst it all. I need to get these and actually drop them into the lake in a little bit more water. 
that's those guys all coming out. We'll let those guys just sew themselves over and then any that haven't made it, we'll go ahead and fish those out. But these guys will actually make it from here and actually head on over into the main pond itself. We've got another great area down here that we can use as well. We're gonna get dirty feet, but that don't matter. Do you get these bad boys out the nest? I didn't realize we'd still got some in there. Let's get these out into the water. There you go. As you can see, already immediately swimming off. You can see all the uh, midges and moths in the air. But let me snap back to you in a second when I'm on the next bag. One down, 13 to go. Mama Lank on the bank, camera in. There you go. Right, slide us a bag. Make sure there's no fish in the bag. big ones off the side of the net as you can see there are some of them are naturally going to be a little bit stunted but what we'll do we'll take them out a little bit deeper we'll let them go out the side of the net as you can see now they all literally start turning themselves over and immediately start swimming around straight away onto all the live bacteria in there all the bugs like I say, that one there was stunted a moment ago. He's in there swimming away now. Looking absolutely awesome. Couple more swimming in the net, coming free now. Right, let me get the rest of these out. But as you can see, like I say, so far, we're doing a real good job. Unfortunately, there are a couple in there that haven't quite made it. But like I say, we will fish those out very, very shortly. On to the next one. There you go, you see, see them writing themselves now, coming up and over. Some serious amount of life going on in here, folks. It's gonna be a fun old grade. Let's go. Okay, this is literally four nets worth of koi. Four bags worth of koi, should I say. This is in the region of 4,000 Yashiki goi. We're going into the Baldwin Reefers Lake. Look at them all coming around, turning themselves over now. Looking absolutely fan dabby dozy. Look at the size of some of these monsters, folks. These are gonna be mint when we harvest them out in a couple of weeks' time. But like I say, we are taking off the ones that are stunned on top once we've made sure that they are definitely past the stun phase and they aren't gonna be coming back. Unfortunately, this is part and parcel of keep, keep, uh, keeping koi, especially when it's been an absolute nightmare with customs, but we show the good, the bad, and the ugly. But out of a bit, oh, see what I mean? One of those just flickered into life then. There you go. See, he was stunned. And this guy here is still alive, I think. This little fella. We'll keep our eye on him there. He had a little bit of a kick in him just, but look at them. How many bags you got left to go? Oh, my foot stuck in the mud. Literally, I'm not kidding. One, two, three, four, five, six bags left to go. Let's do all six bags in one net. Let's seven. go, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags, seven in one. Let's go. Okay, so I know you all have all been wanting it. So, we're gonna let some off the jetty. We'll put them in this area back here so you can see them all come out. Here we go. Look at all that colour. Check it out, folks. Excuse the camera angles. Don't know where this is going to wet it together. I'm currently hung upside down off the bottom of my jetty. Ladies and gentlemen, let me get me a little ring pull off the side of my phone so I'm not going to drop it in. Look at them. Look at that big Yamabuki Hog on there. He's five and a half weeks old, he is. <laughs> He's massive. Woo, doggy. Let's go, folks. Let's go. The reefer oasis is full. What a moment, kidder. What a moment. Oh my gosh. 
there's a couple of stunters that we need to get on out but you can see this one here he's stunted but you'll see him in a sec he'll flick himself back around see he's flicking he's resetting his swim bladder that's why you literally have to leave them a good five or ten minutes just to make sure that they're all absolutely bang on there is going to be so much natural life in here for these guys to start predating on and munching straight away i mean look at the little water beetle there on top he's going to get terrorized by koi in a sec what an absolute moment to share with you all oh my gosh over eighteen thousand yashiki goi koi are now in the building reef for oasis oh my god my back's in pieces i've got a headache i've not really slept in 24 hours with the amount of issues that we've had with customs but you know what not one part of me cares right now genuinely not one part of me cares look at the size of some of these bad boys look at him darting across there did you see him him there then look at him nailing all the bugs <laughs> yes i all of them straight in feeding immediately wait till you see the size of some of these bad boys that we're going to pull out in about three weeks time the, don't forget these are only in here temporary all these fry will be going up for sale hit me up in the comment section if you want some of the yashiki goi fry that have temporarily been housed in the bowling reef for oasis oh my gosh look at that i could sit here all night april's mum's watching the kids she is gonna be fuming when we get back oh my god just look at it folks <laughs> look at them achievers there <laughs> yes buddy i am living my best life i just want to thank the partners at yashiki goi for trusting me with the fish oh killer <laughs> We've got Tanchos, we've got Jimrin, Saragoys, we've got Achievers, Yamabukis, Sankis, Showers, Tanchos, Kahakus. Man, oh man. <laughs> it just goes as far back as I can see now. <laughs> we've got Benny Goys, we've got everything, man. This is boss. Look at him hiding there. Oh my, this is absolutely fantastic. I am literally living my best life. We've averted a massive, massive disaster. The shop is absolutely full of Yashiki Goi Koi Fry. Literally ready to ship out straight away. These guys obviously aren't. We're going to let them munch away all this yellow denser for the next sort of two or three weeks. It is just ram packed, full of microorganisms. Infosura, bugs, beneficial bacteria. These guys are literally going to be rooting on down, smashing all of the newts. We don't have an otter problem here or anything like that. What can I say? Literally, the more you look, the more you see him starting to go out. I mean, look at him over there. He's brazen as hell, man. Look at him out on his own. Look, you can't even see him when I pinch out that far. That's normal zoom. Look at these though, man. Woo! I'll take out some of these stunty ones now that they've not sorted to roll over. See what I mean? Look, look at him now. He's trying to reset his swim butter. He's swimming, swimming all, all goofy. Oh my God. The colours, man. Do you mean Saragoy? Look how much that glistens, man. Jeez Louise. Here we've got fish upon fish upon fish. I mean, literally, look, if I pull, start pulling this back. All these guys are literally, all this here is out of denser. So it's an oxygenating plant, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. For keeping these guys all happy and healthy but already look at that little space there that's just cleared there's just fish for absolute days and obviously these have just gone in there this just proves that you can plop and drop if fish are in severe severe levels of distress plop and drop folks 
it is much safer for the fish. I mean, this water at the minute, it does actually sit at 24 degrees. So it's absolute optimum growth rates for these guys. But I mean, look at it, it comes away, it comes away so easy. Like literally so easy. All you've got to do is send a little bit of a gentle rake across here. I mean, look at that, there's no effort there. Tattoo sponsored by Liad, Phil, if you're watching, boy. Big props to Lee, doing the uh, Karashigoi growing show on together. But yeah, I mean, look at that, literally. Oh, do any pull there? Look at how much all that there's coming away. It's so literally a nice gentle rake. Give it a shake, make sure there's no fishes in it. And they all come on out. <laughs> but. Of all those pots over there, I need to get rid of them bags. I'm exhausted. Snap back to you all in a bit. Okay, so here's a load of the fish in the first basin. So we've got about sort of seven to eight thousand in there. Uh, we've probably got another sort of eight to nine thousand in here. Uh, what we've done uh, to actually cycle these is we've used this uh, Bacto Plus filter salt gel, uh, which we now have available on reeforaquatics.com as well. And this is actually 30% off. This stuff is really, really good. It's a lovely, lovely light blue in size. Um, let me just show you. There you go. Doesn't smell at all. Um, all you do with this is simply tip it into uh, your media. So in here we've got a static bed. Uh, we've got an oxygenator going in there and then obviously a return pipe going down there. All you do is simply tip this into your filter media, leave this bubbling away uh, on the aerated tube uh, for literally 12 hours uh, and then you can actually purge it into your water. And then we've also added in some uh, PSB as well, which again will also be available on reeforaquatics.com. Uh, what I've done uh, for the time being with these is because I don't want them to actually feed very heavily is I've just literally chucked in a load of, I say a load, a small handful of these three mil floating pellets, the uh, Yashiki Good Pro Food. Um, I leave it floating because as you can see, once it starts floating, it actually goes down into this mush. Uh, what that actually enables the koi to do then is actually go ahead and actually just start taking off the little bits and pieces that they want. Um, obviously what we'll do now is we'll leave these guys to settle in for sort of 72 hours uh, just to see how they get on. We are running these with salt as well. Um, let me get a bit of a close up, you can see some uh, real good shots of these, there you go. Uh, so we are running salt in here, we are running at 0.5% for the first 48 hours and then we'll slowly water change it down obviously with the stocking densities on these coal that we've got. Uh, we are doing daily water changes at the moment. Um, but like I say, these fish do move very, very fast. These are available on reeforaquatics.com as well. And like I say, there is a deep dive video coming out very, very soon. For the time being though, they're 30% off on the website. Deep dive video will explain why they are indeed 30% off. Um, I'm just thinking around though and show you uh, my pond fish. Look at the state of my face, I look disgusting. So finally got my pond fish back. Uh, these guys have just been treated for gill flukes uh, and a little bit of fin rot that they've come back in with at the moment. Uh, this one here has come back in with a bit of an ulcer on the side of it as well. Um, most likely down to bacteria or something like that, but it's nothing that we can't fix. Um, so what I have done to treat for uh, the flukes is I've used uh, Lernex Pro. Uh, again, available on reeforaquatics.com now as well, and that is one of the cheapest prices you'll find it in the United Kingdom. Um, following treatment will be again Moronicol Alperex. So, Alperex will deal with any sort of fungus, it will deal with uh, Chilindinella, it will deal with Trichondia, it will deal with any sort of uh, slight femoral ailments and stuff like that as well. And it will also help to patch up the side of that Gromo that's in there as well. That's Sam Hirschfield's fish, uh, the big sand kit at the back. That's going to be going over to him very shortly. This is Jack Hirschfield's fish. That's also going to be going over to him very shortly as well. Um, the Sankey and Jack's fish are doing really, really well. Um, my uh, Kashui uh, they had from A-Class, the Chigoi. Um, we've got the Kishisui. We've got my 
Grow and Show for the BKKS. That's doing really well as well. Like I say, I did literally only find two or three flutes, so it wasn't anything major or anything like that. Uh, I am just treating just to be overly sure. Uh, these are super duper clean. The fin rot, it's not major or anything like that. Uh, this is the only fish that's got that slight little welt on the side of it, which may well be uh, from knocking itself uh, in the pond that it was being housed in. Um, nothing I'm concerned with or anything like that. So extremely grateful for these being looked after for me. Uh, and at the end of the day, these did survive the fire. So uh, a lot of the problems, I say a lot of the problems, a lot of the issues with a slight little bit of... Uh, fin rot damage on the front uh, edge of the pectoral fins for example on the shisui it may well have come from severe stress caused from the fire um but yeah other than that though they are doing tremendously well they have straight clean now for the flukes so like i say these are my babies so i will hit them with everything to make sure they are absolutely bulletproof uh, top tip about LearnX Pro, the only difference between LearnX Pro and normal LearnX is LearnX Pro has uh, an additional additive inside of it which kills off one extra strain of Israeli flukes. Um, now, obviously none of these are Israeli, they're all Japanese or Yashiki Goy. Um, so I've got nothing to worry about there. but. The Linux Pro seems to be the thing that every man and his dog's using. We have this in stock. We have 35 bottles of this in stock at the moment. And we've got another 35 on the order as well. So at the time of this video going live, there will be 35 bottles of Lernix Pro available on the website at a market leading price. Um, so yeah, fish are doing really well, uh, considering the fire and stuff. Uh, fry are doing really, really good. So obviously these guys are doing really, really good in here too. The fish we have just seen, obviously, going at the farm. Obviously, I'm going to go down tomorrow. I'm going to be putting the auto feeder on there as well. I'm going to be turning on the lake aeration, and I'm also going to be turning in the lake overflow back on as well, because we did block that up, because what we were trying to do was massively reduce down the, uh, what's it called? Eladenta that's in there at the moment. Uh, so that should be coming off very, very shortly. Um, but yeah, full explanation video. Um, for why there's such a sale going out on the website at the moment. Um, that's gonna be coming up next after this video, so make sure you are subscribed along to that. Uh, have a peruse with the website, www.briefaquatics.com, because there's a hell of a lot of sales on there at the moment. Um, all will be revealed though, all will be revealed. Uh, so yeah, hit me up, obviously, if you want the fry, Koi Fry Outlet, give them a Google, give them a call, check them out on eBay. Obviously, briefaquatics.com, they're on there as well. Um, shipping Mondays to arrive Tuesday, Tuesday to arrive Wednesday, Wednesday to arrive Thursday. We've got two trips booked in August. We've got the Arson Coin Show in Holland that I'm going over to. And we've also got the Newark Show as well. Just paid that bill today. So again, that one will be out very, very shortly as well. It's going to be a hell of an August, folks. It really, really is. Make sure you subscribe along. Hit me up with some comment, some uh, love in the comment section down below. We've finally got Reefer Oasis Lake uh, full now. Um, you're probably talking circa what? It was 14 bags, average of between 750 and 850 fish per bag. So you're probably talking the region about 14 to 15,000 koi. I've got into that late today. So I'm super keen to get down there tomorrow. Um, but like I say, we will continue that uh, mini series on. Uh, obviously, developing out the farm, and obviously, we've got the new bits and pieces that we're doing as well. But obviously, you won't find out about that until winter. But other than that, thanks very much for watching, joining the journey. I am absolutely cream crackered, covered in red clay. You know the drill though by now. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, which is at the Balding Reefer. Instagram is slightly different, that's at the dot Balding dot Reefer. But other than that, stay safe, stay sane. Most importantly, people stay happy. Balding Reefer, out. <laughs>